tau overflows understanding of existential bioenergy proper understanding of this existential bioenergy that you know as sex leads to transcendence and such is the essence of tantra tantra is transcendence it gives you many experiences beyond the known you start feeling for the first time crystallized then you have to move on for the first time you start feeling tremendous energy inexhaustible energy that you were not aware of for the first time you know that death happens to the body to the mind and to the heart but not to you you know who you really are transcendence brings your mind intellect and heart together the confluence of mind intellect and heart together this togetherness this synchronicity is the trans is the essence of transcendence that i want to infuse in you in such an indescribable moment there is no past no future only this moment everything is on bliss flows from inner ocean of the being an awakened one is not against sex because it gives you pleasure but this pleasure that it gives is short lived this is what he makes you aware of certainly it can bridge you to the ultimate pleasure remember the ultimate pleasure is nothing else but bliss or anand in the absence of awareness the pleasure that you obtain through sex can enslave you and it does and your life will be yoked to sex this is what you see all around awakened one knows this and as a result he is simply trying to make you aware of the fact that these are the things that keep you tethered into the kind of inner slavery you are slave to your own chemistry you are slave to your own physiology life is an opportunity to transcend beyond this state of slavery sex is really an internal alchemical process that intoxicates you and you gravitate towards it it is a chemical process taking place within you you cannot do anything with it it is part of you and growth this you have to understand sex is the outcome of your body chemistry as an alchemical process it is your psychology that releases certain chemicals in your body and then in a sexual state you can do something for which you may repent later on and you will say i cannot believe how this happened it happened in spite of me such is not the case only with sex instead so many things are happening in you through your physiology over which you have no control 
when a circumstance or situation comes over which you do not have any control, anger breeds sin. It is not you. Again, certain poisons are released in your blood and you are helpless under the impact of those poisons released in your bloodstream. You cannot manage anger in any way. The only thing that you can do is be a witness to this moment when the explosion is taking place. It is difficult, but this is the only way. You will realize, although anger rising in you and there is and yet there is no volcanic eruption. Sometimes it vanishes even before it could erupt. This happens because of witnessing. <clears throat> Each one of us seeks happiness in life in different ways, but happiness will depend on where you are in your layer of consciousness. If you are asleep, then you will consider pleasure as happiness in sleep. When you are asleep, you will consider pleasure as happiness. Pleasure means sensation. Pleasure is something that is to be achieved through the body. Pleasure is achieved through the body and body mechanism. Certainly this is not possible to achieve. Certainly this is not possible to achieve through the body. You are forcing the body to achieve something that it is not capable of. People are trying in every possible way to achieve happiness through the body, through sex, through alcohol and many other means of entertainment. You see people engage in those kind of activities, sex, alcohol and all such related activities. One forces into this to achieve happiness. This is pleasure. The body can give you only momentary pleasures and each pleasure is thereafter followed by pain in the same proportion. You may not have realized this and you may not have established a connection between pain that comes after the pleasure that you cherish it so much. The body can give you momentary pleasure and each pleasure is followed by pain in the same proportion and in the same degree. Each pleasure is followed by opposite because body exists in the realm of duality. Just as day is followed by night and death is followed by life, life is followed by death, pain is followed by pleasure and pleasure is followed by pain. It is a vicious circle that continues unless you break the shackles of this cycle and come out of this state. Your pleasure will be followed by pain and pain will be followed by pleasure. This continues. And when your consciousness transcends beyond duality, the meaning of pleasure changes for you. Everything changes for that matter in life. Then instead of pleasure, you seek bliss and bliss in everything that you do. And each circumstance and moment brings bliss to you, each act that you do. 
whether it is simple or complex it brings bliss to you you experience life of bliss as the transcendence beyond duality you experience life of bliss as the transcendence beyond duality buddha says if you start watching the processes how sexuality anger and greed filters in you certainly one day you will be able to see that it is not out of you that these things are born are filters into you you allow and encourage these to come to you as inhaling breath as you inhale breath these things are encouraged by you to come into you this process continues until the dawn of awakening appears on inner horizon first and you are a witness these things are born in your body and in your mind remember body and mind are not two things instead they are one and you are body mind mechanism this is what in psychology called psychosomatic the mind is your inner body mind is your inner body and body is your outer mind hence body affects the mind and mind affects the body you have to realize that you are a third force beyond the known body you know something about it something about the mind you know the third force is known only through meditation there is no other shortcut to know it because it is through meditation that you become disidentified with the body mind mechanism meditation is the process to open the inner eye is the process to open your inner hearing and all the inner quality of your sense organs and this is witnessing in the absence of which you can be powerful knowledgeable even sometimes in some moments very wise but all this vanish in a second your body can possess you and your psychology can become so powerful over that that you become a slave to it you lose your mastery when whenever you are angry whenever you are in sexual arousal this happens awakened one is not against sex i am not against anger i am not against greed i am simply against the slavery arising out of these and everything that creates slavery in you is to be abundant the my effort is to create awareness so that one day you transcend beyond the duality remember the difference there are people who are against sex and there are people who are not against it they would like the whole world to be in suffering and they enjoy the suffering they only want others to suffer instead they make themselves to suffer too suffering is their joy that is perverted and pathological state the awakened one wants to bring you out of that state his effort is to infuse witnessing and awakening in you